Hey, boys. Wow, it is so good to be back again. We haven't played bowling in what feels like forever, so I thought we should brush up on that. What do you boys say? I say, did you see that freaking beautiful strike I just got on my first frame? And I would say, heck yeah, I did Barack. Ha, 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 that was amazing, buddy. You did so good. Oh, Joe, you are already giving me a headache. Good grief. Gosh dang it, how did I manage to miss that last pin? Joe, that was your fault. You gave me a headache. Oh, whatever, Donald. My voice is not the cause of your lack of talent in this game. Don't you wish you had some of mine? Ha, ha, ha. Did you see that strike, boys? Wasn't that freaking cool? Sure, Joe, sure your luck is so amazing. If only you could be consistent and convert it to real talent and skill. Oh, Barack, at least you and Joe can be consistent and actually get a spare. And look at that mess. What the heck am I supposed to do with that? That is literally impossible. Well, at least you got one pin down, Donnie. That is still something. Oh, Barack, what would I do without your positive reminders that are supposed to make me feel better? but really just make me feel even crappier because you are reminding me about how bad I am doing. What a true friend. Oh, of course, Donnie. You know I am just so happy to help. Gosh dang, I thought I would be able to get a strike off of that throw. But nope, of course it had to be a spare. Yeah, and that was a pretty dang close one to not being a spare Barack. That last pin barely went down. It was only because of that other pin falling and hitting the side of it. You are lucky you even got a spare. Oh, crap. Now, how the heck did those pins not go down? Criminal, I tell you. Criminal. Gosh, the bowling touch is just not in my favor right now, is it, boys? No, it is not, Donald, but honestly, we are not complaining about that. You can go ahead and lose, Donnie. We won't be upset or anything. Oh, I'm sure he already knows that, Joe. I'm sure if anyone would be upset at losing, but especially Donald, and you didn't have to explain that to him. Oh, whatever, Barack, I was trying to be considerate, and that is all that matters. The intention, buddy, take notes. You know, Joe, the only valid notes that could be taken from you right now are notes on how to play bowling. Or me. Ha, ha, ha. I really don't know who you are doing so good. Though, honestly, Joe, it is just insane to me. But hey, I just got a strike. So let's see how this game proceeds. Who knows? Maybe I will end up taking the lead. Oh, you would just love that, wouldn't you, Donnie? Yeah, he would, Joe. That was quite a silly question, don't you think? It may have been silly, Barack, but as long as I can keep up my high score, I really do not care how my words affect you or Donnie. Well, Joe, we will just see how this game plays out, but I am for sure neck and neck with you. But Donnie could bear to buckle up and do a bit better than he has been, to be honest. Oh my gosh, Barack, I cannot believe you would say such a thing about me. How rude. I am doing just fine. It is you and Joe that are just high on their power trip from your scores. Donnie, how are you going to blame me and Barack for being on a power trip when we were literally just doing well? I think you are hater here, not us. Get it together, Donnie, and just be a team player for once. Oh, Joe, you are so naive. You see, if I were a team player, then I would be rooting for you and Barack and not myself. And if I were to do that, well, then I just wouldn't be Donald J. Trump, then would I? I mean, come on now, fellas. You both know me enough by now to know that I would never root for anyone else when I am involved. That is just blasphemous. Oh, Donnie, don't even do that to yourself. Rooting for others is not blasphemous. It is called being a good person. Come on now, don't be like that. You have been self-absorbed for long enough. I just need you to start supporting me and Barack now. Uh, Joe, I will even tell you that is in your dreams, buddy. That will never happen. And I will confirm that it will never, ever happen, ever, Joseph. You are wishing upon a star, buddy, and it is not going to do anything for you. Damn it, why is it so hard to throw the dang ball sometimes? Like, seriously, what the heck? Oh, Barack. I know it can be frustrating not understanding things, but it is OK. We will all get through it together. You are doing so good, Barack. You are definitely in the run to be the winner. Uh, yeah, Donnie, no shit. My score is like 20 points more than yours. Come on now, don't be trying to dumb me down when you are the one in last place currently. You know, Barack, I may be in last place, but that does not mean I am not in this game to win. You just watch. I am going to make the best comeback you have ever seen in your life. 
You know, Donnie, it seems that your ego literally can never take a hit or get a reality check. So why don't me and Barack work on that for you today? Oh, sure, Joe, you can work on that. But we shall see if you and Barack can actually succeed. Good pickup. You know, I always come out on top. And if I don't, I am tied. And if I am not tied well, then I am damn close to being second, if not first. And the only time I get beat is by Barack. That is the only defeat I would say me be able to take or accept, Joe. Oh, uh, yeah, Donnie, you don't have to remind me. Don't forget any time you don't get first, you literally back out and leave the chat so quick that it is just the most pathetic, petty thing that could ever happen, to be honest. Oh, Joe, hush up. It is not pathetic. It is pride. And I am damn proud I have it. I just want to be and be the best. And that is not a bad thing to desire, my friend. Joe, he's got a point. Anyway, I am tired talking about Donald's pride. Let's talk about our game, please. Oh, of course, Barack. I could never deny my friend of their desires. Well, at least you and me are taking the lead. Gosh dang, Barack. Since when are we so good at bowling? Like dang, we must have been practicing for quite some time to get these great scores. Oh, Joe, you know it. We are doing so freaking good right now. And you just got that nice spare buddy. Nice going. Oh, the faith you have in me is so refreshing. Thank you, Barack. Oh, Joe, of course, bud. Now, come on, now, let's keep this heat going so we can defeat Donnie, the both of us, make him get third. Guys, I am right here. Come on, now. I feel like you both are just trying to psych me out, make me think that I cannot come back. Well, that is just ridiculous, I tell you both. Ridiculous. I know I am talented, and I know I can succeed. So stop making me feel like I cannot. You both are supposed to be my friends, not haters. Oh, Donnie, we do not hate you and never could. We just want to win, buddy. As would anyone else, Donnie, and you know that. Oh, I guess I understand, my friends. Well, I can see Barack already beat me, but that is no surprise there. Well, as long as Barack is the winner, I think I can settle for defeat. Well, Donnie, I hate to break it to you, but I am pretty sure I already defeated you, too. I had 126 points plus my spare, so that has to be more than your final 132. My math may be wrong, but I got more pins after that, so I guarantee that I beat you by now, bud. Well, Joe, I can literally see that you and Barack have beat me, so I have to be okay with you two winning. But that is okay. There is still so many other games I will destroy you both at. And I cannot wait to play them and just see you both lose. Oh, Donnie, you are just so sweet and sincere. LOL, we will see about that. Okay. Oh, see you, bud. Great game. Yeah, yeah, whatever you two. See you soon, my boys. Oh, Donnie said, bye, that is a big change. Joe, shut the hell up. I don't want to hear it anymore. Goodbye. Ha ha ha, bye, Donnie, bye, Joe.